Our reporter Raquel Mwigai now gets into a conversation with Laikipia Governor Andiritu Murive on the latest directives on matters of education and how they are handling it as a county. Raquel, a very good afternoon to you. A very good afternoon to you, Akisa. I'm here in Nanyuki, Laikipia County, where a meeting, uh, meeting is being conducted, uh, a meeting is underway by the Laikipia leaders on matters of education and the education status in the county, especially in Laikipia North, where the transition between primary school and secondary school is not as expected or is not as planned, uh, even as uh, the free day secondary education has been introduced. Uh, right now, I'm joined by Governor Nderitu Muredi, who's just going to give us a brief on exactly how exactly the state has been, especially in Laikipia North, what the government is doing, as well as the kind of engagements that they are planning to make. Thank you so much for joining KTN News, Mr. Governor. Um, Please just give us a brief on exactly the state in Laikipia North, given that the, there has not been a smooth transition. What is exactly the problem? Uh, well, first of all, um, as you know, the, the stated aim of government is to achieve 100% transition from primary school to secondary school. Uh, right now, the data we have in terms of the area that is Laikipia North constituency, uh, which is a wider space than Laikipia North district, uh, we are told, we, we, the data suggest, uh, is looking at 18% transition rate um, and therefore as leaders and managers of education sector uh, we are meeting to make sure that uh, we change that circumstance. Um, the number one thing that we're going to do is to register uh, day secondary schools. Uh, right now we have uh, requests from uh, 14 uh, areas where there are primary schools in Laikipia North and, and they are requesting uh, and the education board, uh, the county education board will be considering those proposals uh, in the course of this meeting and we expect will approve. Uh, but we are all here, the TSE, ourselves, uh, the leadership of the teaching fraternity, um, the county commissioner and the national government uh, so that we have a concerted effort to make sure that all our young people are going to secondary school. What about the engagement with the local leaders, especially from like Hippie North? What is the kind of uh, probably efforts that they're putting in into ensuring that the smooth transition is there and the education level, uh, the literacy levels in like Hippie North are actually good? Well, and I want to commend them. Um, in December, when the board met, uh, they had some proposals which have already been implemented in terms of increasing the number of schools. Uh, they are also here in this meeting. Uh, but I want to encourage all leaders, not just political leaders, church leaders, NGOs, uh, all of us, uh, that really we must ensure some, everybody is going to school. Um, it is not just a question of it being correct. But I tell you, without education, there can be no development. Um, without education, we, uh, the issues of marginalization and so on will never go away. So uh, I'm very, very pleased with the leadership because we have come together for a concerted effort. Uh, and I want to encourage, as I said, uh, uh, the civil society and others uh, who are players in Laikipia North or in Laikipia County as a whole uh, to join this effort. Thank you so much. Just before I get back to you, Akisa, it would be very helpful if you just get to hear from Onesmus Misioki, who's the county commissioner, given that security matters in Laikipia North have been uh, a major issue and have really affected education in that, in that particular uh, sub-county. So what, what are the plans in terms of security in ensuring that at least security does not, insecurity does not affect the students within those particular areas? Well, what I want to confirm is that... Uh in Laikipia, at the moment, we have really stabilized the uh, security in our area. At the moment, we don't have major security challenges, including those parts of Laikipia North, which used to experience a lot of problems. We have ensured that as a government, we have recruited uh, more than 700 national police reserves in order to beef up the, and supplement the efforts of the national police service, in, in order to ensure that we fully secure those areas. So at the moment, we are trying to address some of those barriers and the challenges which have in the past prevented the children from transiting from primary to the secondary level. And we also want to engage the community in order to ensure that we address some of those inhibitive uh, cultural practice which uh, sometimes they disadvantage the people from Laikipia North. 
and we are working very closely with the local administration, the political leaders, in order to ensure that we fully support the government in ensuring that we have 100% transition rate in Laikipia North. Thank you so much. Uh, Akisa, that is a situation here, but we'll be able to get to brief more on this uh, particular happenings here in uh, on what exactly is coming up with the education meeting that is being held here by the stakeholders to just get to look at some of the plans that they're making and what, what exactly are they looking at. Is it increasing schools? Is it increasing the number of teachers? Or also getting to engage the community in terms of the cultural practices that are hindering students from having that smooth transition, even with a free day secondary education in Laikipia County. Okay, sir.